Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Seibel Explains. This video is all about conversion of metric units from smaller units to bigger units. Suppose we have a question like this. Jared wants to buy 3,000 grams of rice, but the market sells rice packed at 1 kilogram each. How many packs of rice in kilograms will he buy? Okay, what are the given in the problem? So, Jared needs 3,000 grams of rice. And then, the store sells packs of rice at 1 kilogram each. Okay, now we will convert 3,000 grams to kilograms. Why is that so? Because the store is selling rice packed at 1 kilogram each. Based on the previous video that I posted about conversion part 1, which I will be posting the link below, we must have a guide for us to convert fast and easy. So we'll start with kilogram, hectogram, decagram, gram, decigram, centigram, and milligram. Now we will identify how many steps will be from gram to kilogram. That is one, two and three so if you notice we go to the left three times that is three steps one step is equivalent to divided by 10 divided by 10 divided by 10 in the previous video as we move to the right for each step we multiply by 10 but this time it is the opposite as we move to the left, we divide for each step. You have to remember that if the decimal point is not indicated, it is understood to be immediately to the right of the last digit in the given whole number. The long cut will be, we will be dividing it by 1000 because we have 3 steps. So 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1000. So 3000 divided by 1000 so that's a quite long but you can also apply some shortcut here let's divide divide we have cancel only so we we'll get three kilograms but you know what the easiest way is this we will have three thousand the decimal point is at the back right here and then just move three places to the left that's one two and three no need to divide the long cut method, just use this shortcut method. So it means we have also 3 kilograms. So Jared will buy 3 kilograms of rice. For the second question, we have Santi has to drink 8 cups of water daily. If 1 cup of water is 250 ml, how many liters will that be? So for the given, we have 8 cups of 250 ml. Now we will multiply 250 and 8 to get the total number of water in milliliters Santi drinks. So we get 2000 ml. So this 2000 ml, we will convert it into liters. It is best that we will put a guide in the bottom of our solution so we'll start with kiloliter hectoliter decaliter liter deciliter centiliter and milliliter this time let's identify how many steps will that be from milliliters to centiliters that is one two and then three then that is divided by ten divided by 10 and divided by 10. Now we can divide 
2,000 by 1,000. Where did we get 1,000? That is from the three steps. That is 10 times 10 times 10. That's why it's 1,000. We can also do cancellation here. That's a, um, that will give us 2 liters. But we can also do shortcut by moving decimal places. Like, for example, 2,000. Our decimal point is at the back. Just move 3 steps or places that will give us 2 liters. That is so fast and easy. So that gives us 2 liters. It means Santi has to drink 2 liters of water daily. Thank you! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!